What's up dudes, Almighty Willow here bringing you this pretty cool tutorial of day number two of 25 days of Photoshop Christmas. So today what I'm going to be covering is, I covered in yesterday's episode, a simple overlay template, or a simple like video overlay. So this time we're going to get a little more advanced, we're going to get a little interfacey. So what you're going to want to use is this pin tool. So you're going to want to start making shapes. So the first shape I'm going to make is like this. And after you connect that, find the color you want. I think I'm going to go with a darker green as the overlay color. Like that. So you make that. And you should get that so far. And that doesn't have to be. You can put that right there. And then make some guides. So new guide. 50%. Alright. And then, yeah, if you know how to make guides, that's basically what you do. And then you do it another time for this side. So what you're going to want to do is flip this horizontal and now you got two of these cool little inner shape style box or interface style boxes. And now you can just duplicate this layer and do some other cool stuff with them. So I'm going to say we're going to go like this. And then I'll just cut this out right here. So let's cut that out. And then let's cut it out at this line. And you can duplicate that layer now, and you should get this. And grab this layer, or maybe this layer, what is it? Nope, grab this layer and this layer, and move them into the center. So now they're centered with that top one. And now you can make a cool spot for your logo to go in, like this. Now that you have that kick-ass lightning bolt shape made, you want to do you want to fill the layer with that and duplicate it and make sure it lines up in the center again. So it should line up like that, and then you can move this in. Let's move that in, and then let's select it and let's cut these so they're together like this. Sorry if you can hear people in the background. Sorry if you can hear people in the background. They're yelling for some reason. No idea what's going on. So let's delete. Oh, for some reason my startup disk is almost full. I gotta delete some shit. And let's select it. Make selection. And delete that. So now you get this pretty cool shape. And you want to start filling in these layers. So what I do is I just go to the inline and I select it with my pen tool like that. Make selection and then I find the color I want and make it at the very bottom of all my overlay layers. So let's make this color dark gray. Okay, for some reason that was still white. Okay, let's make the color dark gray. And let's bring it up so it covers those. Then let's drop this layer down. Huh. There we go. And then it covers that nicely. So that's step one. And then you can zoom out and see where you are so far. And fill this part in. And then just keep doing that. Just keep filling in the parts. Alright, I think I can just fill this one in a little bit easier than I've done the other ones. Yeah, there we go. That should work a little bit speedier. And you make that selection. Fill it in black, like that, or dark gray, or whatever color you chose. And now, just for simplicity reasons, you're going to want to group all those together. Just to make it the best it can be. And now for a face cam... You want to select your whole document because it's widescreen. 
And most likely, whoever is streaming will be using a widescreen webcam. So you gotta resize it while holding shift because that evenly resizes everything. And you can put it right here. So now that you have that done, you can, I'm just gonna outline it like this. Stroke inside. Let's make the stroke the same color. Let's pull it in a lot. And then you can grab this layer right here, go like that. All right, and now connect those sides. Sorry if you can hear my sister yelling. For some reason, she just has to yell whenever I decide to record. And now my mom's yelling. Great, great. Totally speeds up the recording process is having everybody yelling. Jesus. All right, now you have that cool little shape. And you can put something cool in there. I usually go like this. Live. And you wanna make this a pretty easy to read font. So this font would not be easy to read from far away. So let's go with Beebus. I haven't seen anybody in YouTube use this font for a while now. And I still like it. So you're gonna to wanna to downsize that a lot. So let's throw live right there. And you can space it out a little if that'll help the way it looks. Don't space it out too much like that. That's perfect. Okay, not what I was trying to do. Let's move that right there, save. And then a little red dot. So you're gonna wanna make that little uh, little circle selection and color it in red. I decided to go with a dark red because that is the best option in my opinion. Okay, I made that a little too small. All right, so this should work a little bit better. Yep, perfect. And now you can just center, whoa, what the fuck? Okay, now that those are centered, you can see that. Looks pretty good. And if you wanna throw in a donator spot, you can just go like this. And now that you've got that cool shape pin tooled, let's just move that over a little bit. Right there, it's perfect. And then you wanna duplicate this. So this gets you your spot for your sponsor and everything. Because now after you have that done, you can go. And then you got that shape. Oh, gee, my gosh. Nah, that looks a little intrusive. So, you don't need that space anyway. So now what you wanna do is, sorry if I just got loud, I leaned in to see something. So you wanna do a pin tool around that shape like you had done the other ones. Color it in the dark color that you were using. And this step is kind of important that you make it perfect, in my opinion, because you don't notice it when you're in Photoshop, but when you get it like enlarged and stuff, you start noticing your flaws. What? So just try to make it perfect. I'm, I'm recording, so sorry if you can hear people in the background. They tend to be very loud in my house for some reason, no matter what I tell them. It's kind of frustrating, but anyways. All right. So now you can put your donators and your subscribers right there. So that is how you make a pretty simple 
pretty cool looking overlay. You can add some cool effects to it too. It's not like subjective or anything. If you want to make it look very, very organized, you can group it all up together like this and throw a drop shadow on it. And now what you want to do with that drop shadow is turn your distance all the way down. And then just give everything the subtle dark, darker outline. It'll look very good over your gameplay and whatever else you decide to use it for. So, that is very cool, dudes. It's been your boy, Almighty Wildo, and I'm out. Peace, pimps.